What is up, peeps? This is Follow in TCG, and I'd like to welcome you back to another YouTube video. Now, the reason I'm uploading this video now is just to make up for the one on Friday. I did leave a quick post if you didn't see it, just letting you know now quickly. But, oh my god, I've been off the game for about two days, and I, I, I'm thirsty. I want to get in. I want to play. Um, <clears throat> I haven't, yeah, I've, I've been out pretty much for the whole weekend, so I haven't really played this game during that at all. Um, and I miss it, and I miss recording and uploading a video, so I'm really, really happy to, to be here even though to you it was only a few days to me it felt like forever so yeah i'm really excited to just get get into a video right now i've got a lot of energy um with that said though um let's get into this we are playing tapu coco it is pretty much a tapu coco day tapu coco spread tapu coco prism tapu coco uh, gx right i think this is a pretty functional deck that's the word i would use now of course pika rom Better off playing that. That's very, very, very true. <laughs> I'm not sitting here saying this deck is, you know, the, the, the better alternative to a Pika Rom deck, right? But um, I just thought this would be fun. It has a little combo you can do with Acer Roller and stuff. And it messes around with Thunder Mountain, yada, yada. And the spread damage helps. And it's got the Electro Powers. There's just so much going on um, with this deck that it's just so fun. And it's so... Um, how would I describe this? There's so much variety in the ways you can play with this deck, which is so, it's so fun. It's so fun. And it is, is in itself, sorry, consistent. And that is to one very good reason. I actually now have another Jirachi. So I have two Jirachis now. A huge thank you to Frog. I'm just going to call him Frog. It's, it's Frog and Rustbiff, but Frog, um, who's over on my Discord, who um, I have, of course, on the, on the game itself, sorry, on my friends list who has been a mad help. He's the one that's been donating these hollow energies to me to, um, you know, just to, just to bling out the deck a little bit, make it a bit more appealing in the videos. Um, he, as I said, he just donated this Jirachi to me, which is just so awesome considering how high in demand Jirachi is. So I'm so thankful. Um, and he's the very reason why I'm actually now going to be confidently playing Jirachi because two is a lot better than one, a lot better. Um, also a big shout out to Rads, which is R A W D Z. Overall, my again friends list here, who has been helping out. He donated this colorless energy to me and stuff, um, and traded me some GXs just to help out with future deck builds and trading and stuff. So I've been getting a ton of help from you guys, and I really genuinely appreciate it. Like it, it feels genuinely cool, um, genuinely heartwarming. So I just want to say a big thank you there. So uh, for real, I really, really do appreciate it because it just helps so much. With just building decks and stuff uh and now there should be a lot more wackier decks out um from this video onwards just because i'm a i'd have a jirachi to be a bit more confident with right because i think jirachi is so so good especially for rogue decks or let's say non-gx decks or things like that it's just a really good option for a deck that is not playing tapu lele right although we are playing tapu lele in this deck because i thought hey tapu coco tapu lele ah kind of fun um but yeah with that all said, let's get into this and see what we're up against. We're up against Rayquaza. Um, I like that Coca. That's interesting in Rayquaza. Actually, that's really good for Rayquaza. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay, that's Jirachi. I want to get an S-Ball. We don't, unfortunately. Maybe that was a bit silly of me. But I don't want to be attaching an energy to Jirachi. We have to shuffle away this whole hand. We could Judge Whistle. Uh, the reason I'm playing Judge Whistle, I thought it was just a little fun idea, is we're actually playing Macargo, um, and that's to guarantee our Jirachi pulls, which, although Jirachi is good enough on its own, don't get me wrong, um, I still kind of like. Uh, we're going to actually attach a DCE to the Coco here, because um, I play Spread Coco in this deck, obviously, but i um, kind of just happy doing this, and we can get a Coco Prism out. And uh, pretty much have this Coco ready next turn with a Prism Star or just an Energy. So let's do that. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this ability now just in case it gets KO'd. Like the only reason this is here is to use its ability. So I'm going to do that. And there, there we go. So I know that's not the best use. Obviously, it would be better to use it on two type of Coco GXs. Um, but hey, that's just the way it is. But yeah, there is su such a fun combo in this deck. Um, if you get something like Aether Paradise out, you take damage a lot. You have at least 200 HP. Um, <clears throat> and if it's a two-shot, 230 HP uh, with that. So uh, Tapu Coco is a lot harder to KO, and that means we can use Acer Roller. And then if we have the right amount of energy in play, or we let's say we have a Thunder Mountain down after using that Aether Paradise, let's say, we can Ace Roller or Coco, drop a Coco down and just come in with a fresh Coco attacker as if they've done no damage. And again, just hit him for good numbers. Um, and it's pretty cool coming out against Rayquaza, even though this deck is popping right now. Um, oh, did they get the hat trick? Oh, they got the hat trick already. Um, such a cool deck. I wonder if this, actually, I'm not too sure if this deck actually was played at all in the, ne in the, um, the is it the Collins, Collinsdale, Collinsville Regional Championship? 
which is currently being played. But um, yeah, this deck is also quite formidable. Uh, this Rayquaza deck, which is so dangerous. They haven't even used their Coco yet, so that's interesting. It's just that kind of deck that doesn't really need draw. <laughs> it's got a Ranguru. It's got a bunch of Leles in there. Like, there's no problems. So I'm going to I'm gonna Cynthia and then Jirachi. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but we have a really good option for our GX attacks. So that's kind of dope. Let's bench a... another Jirachi. Let's do that. All right, let's see what we pull off this. Hopefully a way to retreat. We do... But I'm kind of scary knocking... I'm kind of scared, not scary. Kind of scared knocking this thing out. Um, so I think I might double Jirachi here. For the time being. And so I'm confident enough in... Uh, getting a KO on the Rayquazas. Because stuff like the Electro Power could be so valuable. But there's no Guzma. There's no, like... Big way of taking a knockout soon. I think I'm going to be greedy here and take the Electro Power and just hold it in my hand. What I want to do is Guzma, Electro Power, KO this thing with a Choice Ban or something. So it's quite a stretch, but it's possible. And we just need another turn, I think. And, and hopefully they don't have any crazy pulls here in their hand because their hand's kind of small. So I just want to KO this thing, like, now. So that's, that's, the, that's the goal here. Let's see what they pull. Don't put a Guzma. Don't put a Guzma. And if they promote this, if they promote this Rayquaza and take out the Jirachi, um, that is so much better for me as well. And they do. Okay, that kind of pays off. That's really good. That's really good. Although they are going to be able to use this one right afterwards. Um, that's actually really good because uh, we can just promote this Coco, play the Electro Power, and it's just a lot easier. Now, I know I could have promoted the Jirachi, but I just didn't want to risk it. Um, let's play the Thunder Mountain. Let's play the Electro Power. Let's play this on the bench, and we're not going to use its ability. There we go. Um, I got scared for a second. I thought it was going to force me to use its ability. Uh, let's dodge his whistle. Draw a card, just just, just just for the sake of it. Macargo. Nice. Okay. That means we can get the choice band. Um, that's really good. That's really cool. Okay. Let's guarantee this choice band, and let's get this KO, man. Let's... Let's get this bread. No, okay. I will never say that again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> let's uh, let's get the KO and uh, absolutely smash this thing. And uh, it causes them a little bit of problems. Nothing too crazy when it comes to the issues. But uh, I think we can do a bit of spread damage next turn as well. If, after this thing gets kicked. No, choice ban. Um, we don't even need to go for our GX attack, which is cool. We can hold that off. So that's kind of dope. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Right, so... Um, after this, I think our GX attack would be the priority. To be fair, we didn't really need the Electro Power, but we had it, and that got us the KO. It's so easy for Tapu Koko to just hit, hit 190. When you have things like, um, uh, sorry, Judge's Whistle, Erica's Hospitality, um, Lily, uh, Jirachi, so many top deck options that Makargo can utilize. It's really easy to get the cards you want a lot of the time when playing this deck. So it's just a pretty good format for Makargo, I think. Um, I just think it is... I'm not sure why it's not actually being played too much. I know it's being played in Zorak control decks. It's like the ideal card in a Zorak control deck. I guess it's considered too slow, right? Being an evolution and there's just a ton of basic decks out there. Which, by the way, love in Vileplume. You know, I know it's... I think it's a mill deck. Um, but I know it stops basic attackers. And that just completely shuts down Picaron. <laughs> Blacephalon, Rayquaza, all of them can't attack. So it's like... Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good Pokemon right now. Just being able to stop the attacks of basic Pokemon. It's kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, that, that's a crazy deck that I know is, I believe it's in the top four of the most recent championship, which, which is mad. Um, so I'm waiting to see how that deck unfolds, but, um, right, let's think here. So they've just got a bunch of energy spread across the board, but no real attacker yet. No one able to attack. And they did actually drop a Picaron, which is uh, a bit scary. But uh, that's, that's just what's going on. If we pull a Guzma, we can actually GX that Picaron, which would be really cool. Guzma and... Yeah, we just we just need a Guzma. That's it. Yeah, that's all we need. Uh, if there's a way to do that, that would be pretty cool. I'm just trying to think how that would be possible. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if I should play the Aether Paradise yet, because I'm not sure if the numbers are really relevant. Oh, don't tell me they have the hat trick. Please don't. No, no, don't have the hat trick. Oh, they got the hat trick, don't they? What's this? Ah. Uh, 
That's all right. That's okay. At least we know they don't have the hat trick, so that's kind of cool. Maybe they're going to fail this and go for the Oranguru. Fingers crossed they get what they want, I guess. That's what they're thinking. Um, but we just have, we have like one goal set. It's like, Guzma, KO. That's it. Just smack this thing. We are doing 50 for each, so 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. I think we are hitting enough, so that's pretty cool. All right, they're just going to go for the retreat. So that's a good sign. Um, Guzma, Guzma, Guzma. Gu no, that's a shame. Uh, that is a bit of a shame, but that's that's just fine. That's just where we're at, right? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And then we're going to bench this and not use its ability. It's funny. I'm supposed to be using that ability with Ace Roller and stuff, but I just want to play Erica here. And get Electro Power because we're KOing at this bad boy. We're KOing this Lele. Shouldn't have promoted it, buddy. It's going down. It's going down. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Juicy cards. Uh, all right. Let's do this. Sky High Claws for KO. And now we don't even need to worry about getting the Pika on. We just need to find a way to get a KO on, on a Rayquaza or another Lele or Zero Aura. They're all very probable. So that's fine. Um, but it seems like they're just struggling with the attack. Although Thunder Mountain really works in their favor as well. They get to attack for the extra single and en single energy on the Pikarom. So maybe what I should have done there is... Well, no. I was going to say what I should have done is drop the Thunder Mountain. But I, I wouldn't have been able to attack. So there's really not much I could do, I'm afraid. So um, yeah, they just need to attach an energy. And they can just go for the GX if they want for the instant KO. Or they go for Choice Band or Electro Power. There's many ways they can now KO this thing. Oh, they're going for a Guzma. Okay. What are they going to Guzma up? They're going to Guzma that out? I can retreat that. I wonder what they're thinking. Maybe they played the Guzma for the... But would you... Okay, if you were to play the Guzma, wouldn't you Guzma the Macargo? No? Or are they really worried about the Coco? But it's pretty much game. If they retreat and attack this Coco, it's game. Oh, they're going to do it, aren't they? They are. Oh, no, buddy, please don't. Oh, no, you just ruined it. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to have to take you down, buddy. I'm going to have to take you down. Topic Coco is out here, man. He's just going to knock you out. Oh my god, we took seven prizes that game. And we didn't even need to. <laughs> we didn't even need to. I love how I'm talking in the past tense as though the game is literally done. But that is just charging up Tapu Thunder GX. Let's see what number we hit. I'm so excited. We're just going to smack it. <laughs> oh, we could be so greedy and try and fish for some Electro Powers. But no, let's, let's not be greedy. Let's just Tapu Thunder. How much damage are we doing? 430! Yay! Oh my god. Okay. That was some uh, some fire right there. Let's get into another game. Um, absolutely smashed Rayquaza there with Coco. So that's fun. Um, and that was quite entertaining as well. So uh, I think this deck is genuinely something that you would enjoy playing at the very least. I, I wouldn't call it a, a, a competition contender at all. But I would say it's a deck that is really fun to play. Quite cheap. Effectively cheap, right? Because Tapu Coco is not a very expensive card. Prism Star is, though. I think Prism, Taipo Coco Prism Star is quite in demand, if I'm correct. I just got lucky and pulled it, but um, it's a pretty fun deck. It's a pretty fun deck. But you, you saw my point earlier in that you can play in a certain type of way that you want. We didn't even need to use the Acer Roller combo that this deck is designed to do, um, which is also pretty fun. We didn't really need to use Tapu Coco GX's ability. It seems like this stuff is just some uh, trivial things in the deck that can be beneficial, but are not a must. Oh! Jirachi, hello, buddy. So excited to see you. Uh, let's get a... Do you have an Ultra Ball to use this prison right now? No, let's get a... I guess we can get a spread down. I mean, we've got... Oh, no, we need to watch our items here. I see a Trubbish. That's not good news. Should have looked at that before I played anything. Let's just get the second Jirachi down. And uh... I think what we can do... Let me see if this is correct. All right, this is going to be a bit silly. But I think I can attach an energy to the Slugma, and then that would therefore activate Coco's ability and putting it in the active. Am I right? I'm going to test it out. Just, just for now. Let's see. I can. There we go. So it gives the retreat to the Slugma. Good stuff. Uh, I'm not going to throw the from the mountain out yet. Yeah, let's just let's just leave it at that for the time being. So I've got the Coco in the active. Energy attached. That's a lot better. I didn't even know you could do that. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't think that was something you could do like on turn one or something. It's just like, yeah... Drop an energy onto the active, throw the Coco down. It's pretty much a retreat for the active, and you've got your desired attacker, right? In this deck, let's say. So that's kind of cool. 
Now, I know Tapu Koko has always been that great tech Pokemon. Like, it's a fantastic tech Pokemon in Pikaron. Um, just being able to throw it down and, uh, you know, retreat your damaged Pikaron and just take all the energy off um, and go in and attack. Which is awesome. But uh, I'm just sitting here wondering what deck this actually is. Because I don't know what's going on here. And we've got the Thunder Mountain, so we're just going to get some early aggression here. Just smack it. So let's uh, Sky High Claws here. And just go in. So, again, you're seeing the exact same traits of Picarom here. It is just doing exactly what Picarom does. Just fast, powerful, and strong. Right? Um, and that's really cool. Right, Garbodor. So, they're only doing 20 damage. And uh, they might be in a bit of a... Bit of a thicker situation themselves. Yep, they're going for the crit. <laughs> oh, God. We are zooming past. Zooming past. As fast as... Lightning. Okay, I won't do that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get into another game and uh, see where we go from here. Um, I'm excited to get those packs, though. I still uh, want to open a ton of packs when I can. Um, just to see what I can pull. And get some more interesting cards. I'm really excited for Unbroken Bonds, though. Um, some crazy cards coming out in that set, man. I think, what's that stadium card that does 10 extra damage? And if you're behind, it does 40 damage for every for, for fighting Pokemon. Except Boswell, which I found kind of funny. <laughs> Basically, the card said if your active Pokemon is a, or, well, if either Pokemon, either player's active Pokemon is a fighting Pokemon, unless they're Ultra Beasts, they do 10 more damage. And I was like, just say Boswell, right? Just say, unless it's Boswell. Um, but that's another little uh, bonus there in Unbroken Bonds coming out for Zygarde, which I still think is a pretty decent card to be using right now. One hit KO Zorark, you can be able to one hit KO. Um, your Pika Roms, I think. I'm trying to think on the first attack, 50 damage, choice burn, and then you have uh, that if you're behind the prizes. That's some damage. Yeah, yeah. So you can hit some relevant numbers there with Zygarde. So I think Zygarde is good, in, in my opinion. Oh, what is this? This is this is intriguing. This is interesting. I want to see what this is. Is this a Shintaro list? Because I see Nido Queen, I see Chikorita. I want to see what's going on here. So it's clearly a Meganian. Blitzel, huh? I am genuinely intrigued now. As to what is going on. Alright. Uh, okay. I'm just thinking about my sequencing here. I might have to discard something valuable like the... Lele. I think. And the energy, get a Tapu Koko down just like right away. And I really don't, I'm really comfortable throwing the DCEs on this ta on these Tapu Kokos because the DCE is only there for the spread damage. And if we don't really need spread damage, we can just treat it like a colorless energy, which is fine because we have colorless energy in our attack cost. And it also isn't affected by Thunder Mountain, which we're going to bench here. Um, let's, no, let's, let's just go for the Jirachi here first, see what we get. Hey, Cirilla, I mean, that's fine. Um, let me just bench this Jirachi, go for Cynthia. That's a pretty good turn. I mean, if we get a Escape Board and Coco Prism, then... Which we do! Good stuff. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the... We haven't really needed the Ace of Rollers recently. But let's get rid of the Coco and the Energy for now. We don't, I really don't think we don't need spread in this. Because it's, if it's a Shintaro list, it's got very high HP Pokemon. So, Right, uh, they did go first. So we are going to get an attack off here. Nice and early. Thanks to Coco Prism. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, I get to throw an energy onto Jirachi as well for some reason. I mean, sure, why not, right? I mean, keep it in play. Uh, let's retreat that. And wallop. There we go. Coco's in. Ready to go. <laughs> turn one. Bang. Turn one. Turn two. What am I talking about? No, is it turn one? I think it is turn one. Oh, my God. Was this turn one? <gasps> turn one. Yeah. Turn one Coco attack. Sweet. Um, but you never think about doing that ever before uh, team up. It's like, oh, can you just turn one attack with Co Tapu Coco? you turn one attack with a Picarom? Yes, you can. <laughs> that is uh, kind of scary now. Just because of Tapu Coco Prism. It's kind of crazy. Uh, oh, that throws a bit of a, a wrench into things, though. The Prism start going. Um, although it can be cheeky here. Play Ace of Roller to be able to use our Jirachi. That's interesting, to say the least. See, now the spread damage sounds more appetizing. Oh, okay. So this is similar to... My, um, I wouldn't say my, obviously I didn't create Nido Queen, obviously Nido Queen came out, it's a good card, yada yada, right? Um, 
But it is Nido Queen. And uh, if I think, I'm assuming Nido Queen's the main attacker, right? Because. Oh, Cynthia, let's just get a hand. Uh, because they got Malamar, so I'm assuming it's that. Or it's the Nido Queen, Nido King with Chikorita, which I think is way too clunky. So, yeah. Let's see. Alright, let's throw the Coco down. Let's let's not play around. And let's get this out. Um, we're not going to judge Wishle. We're not going to judge this Wishle. We're just going to go for Sky High Claws here and just go in. There we go. Sweet stuff. Nice. Nice. Nice and aggressive Coco. Um, yeah, I think this is the Nido Queen. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen my Nido Queen video, go see it. Like, Nido Queen could do some mad damage. It could do some crazy stuff. Um, just on its own. It's funny. It looks like Nido Queen was... Kind of made to be the bench sitter in the Nido Queen, Nido King deck, but I feel like Nido Queen is just better, more consistent, better damage potential, um, better, well, Pokemon search in its ability. I think it's really good. Um, and it can use the up and coming triple colorless energy. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm still pretty hyped for this Nido Queen. I still think it has potential in the future, in my opinion. So, it can be a massive one hitter deck. So, yeah, I, I am, I'm intrigued to see where that goes. But um, things with this deck, it requires a lot of energy, which feeds into our GX attacks. So, but wait. Although we don't really need GX here, we can just Electro Power and one-hit KO this thing. Which is so cool. I mean, just one Electro Power, Coco is pretty much one-hit KOing all stage two, bar a few um, uh, Pokemon. Right, so we're going we're gonna to mess around with Jirachi here first. Uh, get some bits. Uh, let's get a Volknar. Oh, they gone for the quit as well. Oh my god, this deck is just flames. Right, I would love to do another video, but I am. I, I'm gonna. I've got to go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm out of time, but I've got to go to bed. Technically, I'm out of time. I'm gonna crash. So, um, let's get this list out here for you to check and see. This is pretty much it. I just built it today. It's the very raw concept of the list, but I am super happy with its functionality. It is just smooth it is quick we don't really need these ace of rollers to be fair um but hey you could be coming up against a much better deck than or some better decks than what i've come up against today like i think these ace of rollers, ace of rollers will be really good against a zorak deck because it's pretty much going to be two shotting you a lot of the time so i still think they're valuable nonetheless i really like the judge's whistle um just worked great with Macargo, and i think Macargo really fits this list because it just uses jirachi very well it uses judge's whistle it uses erica it uses lily it just uses all these top deck draw cards um and makes Macargo a lot more consistent right so I'm, I'm genuinely really happy with this list and how it turned out so let me know is coco a is it good now i mean Clearly, they want Coco to be good, right? This is a pretty decent card. And then they released Prison... Sorry, then, then they released this one. I don't know what came first. The chicken or the egg? This one or this one? I don't know. But they released these crazy Cocos. And then they got the crazy Coco Prism. They want Tapu Coco to be good, clearly. So um, I think they're finally getting there. <laughs> um, but yeah, with that said, do leave a like if you did enjoy. I will stop rambling. Um, of course, do subscribe for more. And up until... Oh yeah, tomorrow, Monday. Please do take care. And peace.